At least we don't have to complain about not being warmed up. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings good news, who publishes peace, who brings good news of happiness, who publishes salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. The voice of your watchmen, they lift up their voices. Together they sing for joy. For eye to eye they see the return of the Lord to Zion. Break forth together into singing, you waste places of Jerusalem. For the Lord has comforted his people, he has redeemed Jerusalem. For the Lord has barred his holy arm before the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. Why do the nations rage and the peoples plot in vain? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us burst their bonds apart and cast away their cords from us. He who sits in the heaven laughs. The Lord holds them in derision. Then he will speak to them in his wrath and terrify them in his fury, saying, As for me, I have set my king on Zion, my holy hill. And I will tell the decree, the Lord said to me, you are my son. Today I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will make the nations your heritage and the ends of the earth your possessions. You shall break them with the rod of iron and dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Now therefore, O kings, be wise. Be warned, O rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the sun, lest he be angry, and you perish in the way. For his wrath is quickly kindled. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. For God so loved the world, they gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So, praise to God, the greatest gift of worth. Angels sing, hallelujah, there's peace on earth. Lord, you laid the foundation of the earth, eternal. You lived before your birth, before time began. You're still the same great I am. The heavens are the works of your hand. We're all born into sin, so you made a plan to pick us all up after the fall of man, to be with you once again when we die, because I know that you have heard your people cry. 
You sent your prophets to testify that you've seen a suffering with your watchful eye. Although we're all sinful and misbehave, still your hand it will save and pull us from the grave and take us to the sky from the furthest depth below to be with you on high. The nations conspire, this walk in vain. Put through off their shackles and break the chain and save us from our sorrows, save us from our pain, save us from every evil thought in our brain. Give us self control and help us abstain, cause we are unclean in your sight and only you can cleanse the stain. So, long ago, at many times and in many ways, God spoke to our fathers by the prophets. But in these last days, He has spoken to us by His Son whom he appointed the heir of all things, and through whom all things were created in the world. He is the radiance of the glory of the God and the exact imprint of his nature. And he upholds the universe by the word of his power. After making purification for sin, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become as much superior to angels as the name he has inherited, is more excellent than there. For to which of the angels did God ever say, you are my son, today I have begotten you. Or again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And again, when he brings the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all God's angels worship him. Of the angels, he says, He makes his angels winds and his ministers a flames of fire. But of the son, he says, Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scepter of uprightness is the scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness beyond your companions. And you, Lord, laid the foundations of the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are like the works of your hands. They will perish, but you remain. They will all wear out like a garment. Like a robe, you will roll them up. Like a garment, they will be changed. But you are the same, and your years will have no end. In the manger he was born, the Lord our Savior took human form, lower than the angels down from heaven. In a little town called Bethlehem, as prophesied by the angel Gabriel, a virgin gave birth to Emmanuel. God the Father's little baby boy creates good tidings of comfort and joy. What is mankind that you are mindful of them, and the Son of Man that you should care for him? We are no longer slaves to death or sin. God sent his son into the world that we may live through him. A star rose in the east so that every nation can see the son of our God's salvation. A ransom for many, he paid our price. The Lamb of God, the perfect sacrifice. If we love one, the love of the God lives in us. And his love is made complete in us. Your throne will last forever etched in our brain is Jesus, the name of all names, the sun's the radiance of God's glory, exact representation of his being. You can hear the bells ring and everything in heaven and nature sings to the king. So praise to God, the greatest gift of worth. Angels sing, hallelujah, there's peace on earth. Praise to God for the virgin birth of our newborn King to bring peace on earth. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God, all things were made through Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to bear witness about the light, that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to bear witness about the light. 
For the true light which gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own people did not receive him. But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh, and dwelt amongst us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. For John bore witness about him, and cried out, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks before me, because he was before me. For from his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. For the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only God, who is at the Father's side. He has made him known. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. In the beginning was also the Word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. We often have this misconception that in the beginning, God the Father was alone in creation. But in John's Gospel, God pulls back the curtain. And he reveals that since the beginning, Jesus was co-creating with God. All things were made through him, and without him was anything made that was made. Just as God sent the physical light into the world to break up the darkness, so God sent the spiritual light that would be the life of all light of all mankind. So God created mankind in his own image, in the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. But mankind, in its quest for self-preservation and glory, reached instead for the darkness and fell from glory, putting out their inner spiritual light. But God had a better plan, a plan to save the world from their sins by shining his light into their life permanently through the work of his Holy Spirit. Because, as it says in John 4, the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. For to save humanity from its tragic ending, God sent his only Son, the Word which became flesh, and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory, the glories of his only Son, from the Father, full of grace and truth. 
and soul. Now that God has saved us from its tragic ending, what are we to do? Well, like John, we are to be a witness, to bear witness to the light that through him all might believe. He was not the light, but came to bear witness about the light. And so are we. We are to bear witness, not to claim to be God or to be the light, but that Christ shines in and through us, that we all who might believe might receive him, who believe in his name he gave the right to become children of God, who are born not of blood, nor the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. For we are the light to shine in the darkness, to give glory to Jesus, the light who came into the world. Thanks be to God. Amen. Sing hallelujah. Cause Christ is